What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to join picture frames with the Festool Domino. Alright guys, so to get started you want to have all of your frame parts cut out and milled. I got my miters, I got my rabbit, I'm good to go. I'm making three frames that are sized to fit 8 by 8 inch photos. The reason why we want to use a domino here to join these is essentially to add strength. This is more of an end grain to end grain butt joint without the dominoes than it is a long grain to long grain, even though these are cut on the bias here. It's still a pretty weak joint. Wood glue is surprisingly strong, but when it comes to supporting the weight of glass and then extend it over the length of this frame's life, it's, it's a good idea to put in something to strengthen the joint here. Traditionally, it's been in the form of a spline, putting a spline uh, kind of on the edge there in the corner. Like you guys have probably seen that before. Or it's, you know, running small brad nails through there. I, I don't like using metal fasteners if at all possible. I just think it kind of ruins the look. Um, so that's why the domino uh, is pretty perfect for this task, especially since I'm, I really like making frames out of reclaimed lumber. And in order to kind of keep that patina, you're not able to plane these sides super smooth. So sometimes your joints might not end up perfectly square, maybe half a degree off or something like that. And that's, again, also where the dominoes kind of come in handy to, to strengthen that all up. Alrighty. I'm not going to go over how to make the picture frame parts because I'm sure if you guys are reading or watching a review on the domino, you guys have already got a pretty good handle on how to, to mill up picture frame parts. but. If you want me to do that, I would be glad to oblige. Just leave some comments down below in the description. So, um, or comments down below the description. Alrighty. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so this is the uh, Festool Domino kit that comes in a sustainer. It comes in these like little removable organizer things. Here are all of the domino sizes that come with them. 5x30, 6x40, 8x50, 10x50, 8x40, 4x20. What I'm gonna use for the picture frame is the 5x30. Focus. Probably like way overkill. I could use a couple of these guys. Yeah, I think like one of these in each corner. Good to go. All right guys, so we're gonna get started here. One of the things that you need to do with a domino is make uh, tick marks across the pieces that you wanna join and using the reference line right here. Where's a pencil? Here. You line that up with your tick mark, you'll have perfectly matching pieces. This is what I'm gonna do instead of using that tick mark. There's these little tabs. Can you see that there? It just so happens that my work pieces are wide enough to where I can use that tab there as a stop and have that be my reference. Can you see the tick marks? I'm, it's like really hard for even me to see them, which is why I'm glad I can use these stops, but there's basically a tick mark that I drew right across there. Um, and then I did that, I actually did that to all the pieces before I figured out that that stop will work really well uh, instead. And it's a lot faster and much more precise. That's what I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna just basically butt up the corner of the um, frame into that stop there and that's going to provide my reference surface so all of the corners are going to be the same. Okay, since I'm using the 5x30 this, go away. Since I'm using the 5x30 domino here, I already installed the 5mm bit. You can see that there. 5mm. So that's going to cut 5 millimeter mortises. I want this domino to sit in 50% of the domino being in this piece and 50% being in the other piece. So to do that, I just take the 30 millimeters that this domino is um, and divide it by two. And I set my, this is a depth adjuster that controls how deep the domino goes in. So that's 12, that's the smallest. I set it one notch below to 15, we're good. The last step is to measure the, the thickness of this board. It doesn't have to be super precise. It's 18 millimeters. If I go ahead and look at the domino here, 
They have predefined stops. Uh, 20 is the closest to 18, so I'm just gonna go with that. It's gonna place at the domino, not quite dead center, but it's gonna be just fine that way. Cool, I think with that we're ready to uh, do this. So we uh, have the mortises all cut out there and you can see how nicely these come together. Ta-da! Pretty freaking perfect. Cool. Now the last step is just to put glue in the mortises. And you know what's also really cool about this? I have I have web clamps that I use and will probably use to make sure that these come together nicely uh, and with enough pressure. But what's cool about it is they kind of act as little clamps on their own too, um, especially with a project this kind of light. Yeah, I'll real quick show you guys how to glue it up, but that's pretty much it as far as uh, joining goes. You can kind of see how easy everything is. Especially with these clamps, the Festool, the Festool Quick Clamps uh, make it really easy to just kind of snug something down real quick, blast the domino through, and move on. Cool guys, we got our mortises all uh, done up there. Got our glue, brush, web clamp. This web clamp is made by Bessie. I use them for boxes and frames mostly, but if you assemble things that are really odd shapes, uh, man, I, this thing is, is pretty fantastic. Uh, I have about four of them. I use them all the time. Kind of like size them up to your workpiece before gluing it. Uh, so kind of like frame in your workpiece with the, the web clamp here so you're not like scrambling while the glue's setting. each of the mortises here. You're gonna get a little bit of squeeze out from these dominoes. They're really tight fit. See that? See what's also nice about using these dominoes to assemble picture frames is if you're using this reclaimed wood like I am, uh, you're not gonna be able to sand the glue line here. And not having squeeze out along here that you need to get rid of is just awesome. It's funny, these dominoes fit so precisely in their mortises. You almost don't even feel the need to glue them. Ah, sweet. To kind of finish up with this web clamp here, just place these little feet kind of evenly around there, and then just apply tension. Check out the other side. Super great. So that about does it. I'll see you in the next video.